Hello. Whether you're brand new to O&M, a returning customer, or migrating across to ESP, this series of videos is designed to get you up and running quickly and also help you get the most out of the system. In this first video, we're going to introduce you to the basics of the system, configuring it to suit your needs, some simple navigation, and give you a basic idea of some of the things you'll soon be able to achieve with O&M Profiler. Okay, first things first, we need to go to the site. So the address you need is html.omprofiler.co.uk. It's probably worth you adding that to your favorites or creating a shortcut, just so you can get there without typing that in every time, obviously. Uh, and the first thing to do is to enter your login details and password and click login. Just before I do that, I'm gonna draw your attention to the forgotten password. If you ever lock yourself out or forget your password, just use that, enter your email address, and we'll send you new, new login details and away you go. Okay, so let's log in. Okay, so the very first time you log into the system, we'll open up this help window. Uh, there's lots of useful information there. It's really important that you're familiar with using this because if you ever get stuck, it's going to help you out enormously. Um, so some basic things on the home screen, it's going to tell you about how to do there. There's also videos if you prefer that. So you can watch kind of 30 second YouTube videos that show you how to do various bits on the system. You've also got live chat. So if you're ever stuck and you want to speak to someone in our support team, you can use this facility. If you prefer to pick up the phone, send an email, you've got those details. And what might happen from time to time is if you are speaking to support, they might ask you to go to get assistance in the system. This is where they'll say to you, you're going to share the data so we can have a look at it and you know confirm if there's any issues or anything. Or they might want to share your screen, in which case they'll ask you to enter a code in here. So we really value your feedback. If there's a feature you think we should have, then send feedback through. We'll log it, we'll talk about it, and uh, you never know what might happen. A lot of the good ideas that end up in the system come from people like yourselves. So I'm going to close this assistance window now, but whenever you want to get it back, just click on the help icon up in the top right-hand corner, and there it is. Okay, okay. so the system's be designed to get you straight into the work you're trying to do. So you might not have all these buttons, depending on which version you're on. You'll see some upgrade options, perhaps, uh, but everyone will have the vast majority of these. And the idea is that if you're looking to do a new switching quote, for example, you simply click on the new switching quote button. It takes you into a new section and it'll ask you to create your client. If you've already got the client on the system, you can pick them from the list. Obviously, if you're brand new, you're not going to have. So when you enter client details here, it'll save it for next time. So when you do work for that client, you can pick them from the list. So all you're doing pretty much in every area of the system is filling in the basic details here, working your way down the left and getting to results. What we're going to do though is we're going to go back to the home screen so up in the top left hand corner you've got the back to home icon it's worth drawing your attention to these messages on the left hand side whenever we add something to the system we write a message about it we tell you a little bit about it so we added in some additional information dashboards we talked about it in here we created a video to show you how to do it and we told you about it in the messages section so it's really important that it becomes second nature to have a quick look in the messages see what's new Make sure you're not missing out on something we've added to the system. Probably worth spending a bit of time when you first get the system. It's a bit boring, but it'll save you a lot of time, is heading into options and having a look at some of the things you can configure. Let's go to general, first of all. So I said the help guide will pop up when you log in. We find that's really useful when you're getting familiar with the system, when you're starting to learn it, and you might have lots of questions. Perhaps less useful once you're familiar with it and everything else, so you can turn that off through there. Um, we'll show you some of these pop-up messages in a second as well. You can configure those, how those work. You can change the look and feel of the system if you prefer maybe some more contrast or a dark background or whatever else, if you want to customize the reports to suit your color scheme. While we're on that subject, if you've got a logo that you want to add to the reports, just send it through to our support team and they can get that added for you. Um, the only other bit I'm going to draw your attention to in options is the advisor charging. So advisor charging is obviously important. It's linked to service basis in the system. So you can create different levels of service for your clients. And with each one, you can associate a default advisor charging. So if you just go through and set these up, it will save you an enormous amount of time when you're doing the quotes, because all you'll need to do is you'll say this client is gold, silver or bronze or whatever you might call them. And it will default to the advisor charge rates that you've set in here. Okay, let's quickly go back into the switch. And you'll notice I've got these three little dots. They will take you back to the last piece of work you were doing in that section. So as we just opened one and didn't give it a name, it's just showing as empty. 
Uh, you've also got the continue with button as the first one, which will basically look at the very last thing that you did. But if you know you want to go back into a switching quote, these three little dots will save you going back in because the last thing you want to do is click new switching quote again because that will create a brand new quote and not take you back to the work you were doing. So yeah, it's really important. Look at those three little dots or use the continue with button or even existing quotes. There's loads of different ways to get back in, whichever you prefer. So let's go back into the quote I started creating. So I mentioned about these little pop-up windows here. They will basically tell you what you need to do. So you'll see we've got red boxes around the information. We've got a box down the bottom that says enter the client details and we've got some exclamation marks here. It's telling us there's five problems. And if you see, there's five red boxes around here. So basically it just wants us to fill in that information. Once we've done that, the exclamation mark's gone. This has turned to a tick, it tells us we're all happy and we can work our way down the left. So it's really everywhere you are in the system, you're gonna be filling in details, working your way down the left. Very systematic process, very repeatable process, and hopefully becomes second nature quite quickly. The other area of the system that you'll see is this blue menu bar here. Whenever you're in a section, all the things you can do will be up here. So it's not very much I can do at this point. I can add in details of a current plan. And then I get some extra options here. And again, some red text, some exclamation marks, some extra bits to fill in. So I'm not gonna go through the switch and quote in this session. We're gonna do that in a separate video because there's a few more bits to cover in a switch and quote. But if we go back to the home screen. So if you're finished using the system, uh, the last thing I was gonna show you today was simple logout button. Uh, it's entirely up to you. You can log out, you can close the session down, whatever you prefer. If you click log out, it'll take you back to the home screen. And if you've set up your browser to do so, it'll remember your login, so all you've got to do next time is enter your password and away you go. Okay, so in this video, we've just done very basics, getting around the system. We've not actually run a quote yet. If you wanna head over to the second video, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna show you a pension switching quote from start to finish and take you through that process. Thanks for watching.